Good afternoon, everyone. This is Christy with Banana Company. It's Friday, July 5th. I am going to go over the markets for the day and week with you. So light holiday trade today. It was pretty quiet all day long. Uh, we had a hard open this morning and we don't get those very often anymore. But yesterday and last night was closed due to 4th of July. Uh, so we came in here with a hard open. Uh, you saw quite a bit of selling pressure on the soybean market. There are a few rumors out there that there is trouble in paradise between the US and China on trade talks. There's just a few of them at this point and there's been no confirmation but it does sound like some issues coming together maybe on the fact that China is requesting the U.S. Uh, to remove all tariffs if a trade deal is done. Um, but, you know, like I said, at this point, it's just strictly rumors. But you pair that up with a technical chart that looks a little bit on the ugly front right now. You found a bit of selling pressure into the soybeans down 13 and three quarters today. That puts it down 27 and a half now on the week. Now, when you look at the corn market, corn market has shown some really good uh, technical um formations, a lot of support, a lot of separation this week. It's been really good to see. Uh, the corn market was up two today on those front contracts, a lot of spreading between this year and next year's contracts, but next year's contract down a little bit, but your front contract's up two. And on the week, up 13 and three quarters, really being able to separate, separate itself on the week against soybeans and wheat, especially after a negative crop report last Friday. So that was really good to see. We do have a USDA crop report next Thursday, the 11th. Now this shouldn't be much for corn, but it could provide some good numbers here for soybeans as you're going to work with an updated uh, acre number. They have not adjusted yield yet. They said in the last June report that they were waiting because they didn't have enough data. You think at this point they're going to adjust yield. We now have um, higher export sales than we are forecasted for, so they should see some demand structure change on old crop carryout. Um, there's enough to kind of provide for that, but for now we have to uh, kind of trade through those emotions and trade through some news until we get there. When you look at the wheat complex, a uh, very quiet trade today with Chicago up a penny on the day, Minneapolis down to Kansas City up a penny and a half, but on the week a lot of negativity. Uh, Chicago wheat down eight and three quarters, Minneapolis down 20, Kansas City down 12 and a half on the week. So like I said, corn was really able to separate itself when you look at the big picture. Over to the meat markets, uh, some support coming to cattle today with good export sales. Hopefully we have uh, kind of managed money laying off these cattle markets. They've been aggressively selling them, so you could see a little bit of a break there. Uh, it looks like feeder cattle up 225 today and uh, live cattle up just almost two bucks and when you look at the week um feeders up two bucks uh, but you still had a lot of negativity when you look at live cattle down 350 on the day cash trade looked to be about 112 to 114 live 183 dress so slightly off and then when you look at the hog market we are down anywhere from a buck 32 and a half to over two bucks lower uh, on those deferred contracts and on the week about steady on the day but cash trade continues to kind of uh, struggle here and that's a, a bit of a thorn into hog market side Pair that with the fact that those rumors of negativity around China, you could be seeing a lot of selling pressure show up uh, and why you saw that show up today into the hog market. Moving forward, like I said, next week we have a USA crop report, so that should offer a new set of fresh details, and we'll look at that. I do have to close with a disclaimer. Trading futures and options of all risk losses is not suitable for all producers. This is a solicitation. Have a great day.